Godzilla Minus One is now out playing in theaters. So just in case you don't know, this is not the MonsterVerse Godzilla. It's not connected in any way to Kong Skull Island, Godzilla, Godzilla King of the Monsters, Godzilla X Kong that's coming out later next year. You're not going to see Millie Bobby Brown pop up in this thing. This is a Godzilla movie from Japan. It's fully subtitled. It's in Japanese the entire movie. And if that sounds unappealing to you, fear not. This movie is awesome. Yeah, not to give away the lead here or anything, but oh my god. Gosh! So this almost didn't come to my theater. This movie got an extended theatrical run. Thankfully, because of that, my theater took it. I got to experience it in theaters, and holy crap, am I glad that I got to do that. I've seen a handful of Godzilla movies throughout my lifetime, mostly the American ones and mostly the MonsterVerse ones, and the biggest compliment that I can give to this movie is I felt like I experienced Godzilla for the very first time. Before we get to Godzilla, let's talk about these human characters because a lot of these Godzilla monster movies, a lot of people are like, do we have to sit through the human characters? Can't we just watch Godzilla destroy buildings? And you definitely get Godzilla destroying buildings in Minus One, but there is a lot of this movie that focuses on the main character and building up the relationships within his life. And the great thing about that is that everyone and their relationships and their dynamics are compelling. A couple times near the beginning, I was kind of feeling like, okay, where's Godzilla? When's he going to show up? But what the movie does so beautifully and brilliantly is it really builds up this family of characters to the point that you really do care about them, especially the lead character. Because this movie takes place a couple years in Japan after World War II has ended. Our main character is a veteran. He was in the war, but he's kind of a disgraced hero. And so for the whole movie, we're following this character as he's going through his guilt, his shame, his regrets of how he acted in the war. And what's really brilliant about this movie is that it connects Godzilla to this character's guilt. A lot of his guilt, a lot of his shame can be traced back with Godzilla. And in that way, because Godzilla is a part of that experience for this character, even when Godzilla isn't on screen, you feel like Godzilla is a part of this character and it doesn't feel like Godzilla is just absent from this movie you always feel Godzilla's imprint on this movie even when he's not around and now let's talk about that big lizard shall we Godzilla in this movie look I'm just gonna say it right here Godzilla in this movie makes Godzilla in the monsterverse look like a chump this Godzilla is ruthless not only is Godzilla ruthless but he is honestly terrifying in this movie the director of this movie Takashi Yamazaki I apologize if that's completely wrong but he directs this movie and these Godzilla sequences beautifully and with so much tension and so much suspense this movie builds up the monster of Godzilla, the threat of Godzilla, that when Godzilla started to show up on screen, I started feeling knots in my stomach. I wasn't excited to see this monster. I was anxious for what this monster was going to do. Because the depictions of Godzilla's wrath in this movie of decimation are so gut-wrenching. They hit so hard. They're shot so well. You really feel the impact of what Godzilla is doing to these people and the, and the place where they live. That when Godzilla starts to show up and you see him rise from the sea and your blood starts pumping and your heart starts racing of excitement, you start to feel a little bit guilty of what he's about to do to these people that you legitimately like. And that's something that this movie had as well. This movie in some ways actually reminded me of Jaws. Just to explain that a little bit, what I love about Jaws is Jaws is essentially about these group of men who out of the duty of protecting their home go out to hunt and kill this man-eating shark that's been threatening the lives of their community. And in Godzilla Minus One, that sense of community really is the heart and soul of this movie. These men, these Japanese veterans who are seeing what Godzilla is doing to the country they've already fought to protect in a war, and how they feel it's their duty to take down Godzilla to protect their country once again. And that's what really elevates this Godzilla movie from being like any of the other MonsterVerse or any monster movies out there. Is the monster action fun? Yes, it is. Is it fun to see Godzilla on screen destroying buildings? It really is. But there's a depth to this movie. It's not surface level. You really do care about the humanity part of this movie. And I don't feel like the humanity part in many monster movies is really into consideration when we watch them. So the fact that this movie is able to pull that off is honestly in and of itself a miracle. 
Like I said, guys, I'm not going to bury the lead. Look, I've heard about all the hype about this movie for a couple days now. I went in like, all right, people are saying that this is one of the best of the year. Let's see what you got, Godzilla. And my jaw was in my lap for a majority of this movie. This movie truly blew me away. I was enthralled. I was captivated. I liked the characters. It had heart. It had emotion. It had action. It had great Godzilla destruction. But at the core, it just had a great story with great filmmaking, with great performances. The movie's just great. And I am going to give Godzilla Minus One a strong recommend. I loved this movie. Anyway, guys, those are all my thoughts and opinions on Godzilla Minus One. Now, what did you guys think of Godzilla Minus One? Comment down below and let me know all your thoughts and opinions. I would love to hear them. And if you're new here and you haven't heard, we have a goal on this channel. We want to hit 2,500 subscribers before the end of the year. We are in the double digits of getting there, but we need your help. So if you enjoyed this video, if you've been looking around the channel, you've been liking what you see, and consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave. If you like talking about Godzilla, if you like talking about movies in general, we do that a lot on this channel, and we would love to have you join our community community over here. As always guys, thank you so much for hearing me out and I hope to talk to you guys again real soon.